over 4,600 unaccompanied children have been accompanied, have been accommodated in hotels since July 2021. There have been 440 missing occurrences and 200 children remain missing. Mr Speaker. Vulnerable children are being dumped by the Home Office. Scores of them are going missing and I can tell the Minister there is nothing specialist about these hotels. We are not asking him to detain children, we are asking the Home Office to apply some basic safeguarding so we can keep them safe. Does the Minister know how many have been kidnapped, trafficked, put into forced labour? Where they're living? Are they allowed to leave? Are they in school? Well he should know because the Home Office are running these hotels. in the channel and the latest scandal of missing children. Refugees and campaigners have today gathered outside Parliament to highlight the impact of the hostile environment on people in the migration and asylum system. Rather than cruel gimmicks like Rwanda, isn't the best way of deterring channel crossings, crossings saving lives and breaking the business model of criminal gangs to introduce safe and legal routes to claim asylum? Yeah. Well, Mr Speaker, this just is about fairness. It's about fairness for those that seek to come here legally. It's about fairness for those who are here and our ability to integrate and support those who we want to. What we will do is in break the cycle of criminal gangs, which are causing untold misery, leading to deaths in the channel. And that's why we will introduce legislation that makes it clear that if you come here illegally, we will be able to detain you and swiftly remove you to a safe third country. read the government's own statistics which said that there are 200 asylum-seeking unaccompanied children who are missing from hotels in the UK. Ministers have admitted that they have no idea about the whereabouts of these children. So could I ask the Prime Minister, does he still think that the UK is a safe haven for vulnerable children? The reports that we have read about are concerning. Local authorities have a statutory duty to protect all children, regardless of where they go missing from. And in that situation, they work closely with the local agencies, including the police, to establish their whereabouts. And that's why it's so important that we end the use of hotels for unaccompanied asylum seekers and reduce pressure on the overall system. That's what our plans will do. Thank you. 